All right, so welcome to Night Hacking Interviews at the OrDev Conference. And I'm joined here with Richard Warburton. Hi, how's it going, Stephen? Who is a, a new author. Congratulations on your O'Reilly book on Java 8 Lambdas. Thank you very much. I've conveniently brought a copy with me. <laughs> uh, we've actually I, got a book signing going on this yeah, afternoon. Yeah, I heard well. there was some theft over at the bookstore. Somebody who was claiming to be Richard Warburton stole one of his books and ran off. Yep, that, that would be me. That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, how, does it, how does it feel to be a book author? How many sleepless nights did you, did you give up putting together your little title? I, I, I'm not a guy who's ever believed in the, you know, be completely, you know, work until you can't sleep. You're just not going to get a good quality product that way. But yeah, a fair few like evenings and weekends and quite a lot of free time, which no longer became free. But it was, it was good fun. I, I enjoyed the experience. Cool. And after writing this book, would you consider writing another book? Definitely, definitely. Not quite yet, but at some point in time in the future. Cool. So this book's about Java 8 Lambdas, and I assume that's your favorite feature in Java 8. What other features are you excited about in the Java 8 release? Um, so so there's, it, it covers Lambda expressions, but also a whole bunch of other things, like the improved collections framework, streams, collectors, which are all you know, really useful things for people working with Lambdas and trying to improve their code. Um, there's also a new date and time library, which I'm actually giving a talk on at Oradev nice. later this morning. So that's quite nice. Um, so I heard the, the LJC, the London Java community, was a big contributor to some of the date and time stuff. So, so we, we helped out, uh, James Goff and I helped out a little bit on the, on, on the date and time library, some input into the design, some help on the, on the TCK and a little bit of the coding. Uh, Stephen Colborn, who's also London-based, did loads of the yeah, development Yeah, you work, work with him pretty closely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he, uh, talk, talking of sleepless nights, St Stephen managed to get a JSR done, move house, and give birth to his first child in the space of a year. So that's, that, that's a guy who's that dedicated is, yeah, and committed. Yeah, that's, that's real dedication. <laughs> uh, so but yeah, and obviously there was a team of people from Oracle led by Roger Riggs who, who helped out on that project as well, which was... Great yeah, stuff. so I gave a, a date and time talk myself at Java One. Yeah, yeah. And I was honored to have Roger Riggs in the audience. Oh, fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. So um, it was cool to have the man um, critiquing my talk. <laughs> he liked it. Cool, cool. There, there was more zombies than date and time, but I think it, <laughs> I think it was entertaining nonetheless. So how, what's your plan for your date and time talk? Are you going to teach people about the, the basic API usage or get into some complicated examples, or what's your... Um, so I'm going to spend a bit of time talking about the previous date and time libraries in Java and, and the problems that they have and kind of just motivating the addition of a new library in Java 8. Because I think for a lot of people, there's a, so, so we've already got two date and time libraries in Java. Why do we need a third? That's kind of a valid question. Um, and I'm just going to do a bit of a live coding exercise. Well, basically describing my day, Tuesday, getting here, and the various nice. various date and time related incidents that happened along the way. What could possibly go wrong with live coding? Um, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll find out what could go wrong. Uh, yeah. Cool. So the date and time. What else about Java 8 are you interested in? Are you even in Let's talk about Java 9. Have you been looking into Java 9 at all yet? I, I have been looking into Java 9. I've actually submitted a couple of Java 9 related patches to OpenJDK oh, recently. Cool. One of them submits a like, uh, out, like seven year old outstanding bug. That's, that's, that's minor bug, but you know, it's yeah, entertaining. Good to get those um, cleaned up. And it's interesting as well, there's like a load of changes in the source code base that have already come through for Jigsaw, because even though um, the, the patches for Jigsaw's actual module system, haven't gone in yet. They've already done a load of the source code rearranging to prep, prepare for that. Yeah, very good. Um, so that's, that's quite interesting. Um, and there's also a whole bunch of other features which I'd like to hopefully see happen in Java 9 as well. There's a few bits on the, on the Lambda side of things around streams and collectors which could be you know, tweaked or improved or things which perhaps didn't have time to make the cut for 8 which hopefully can go in 9. And there's a few other, uh, there's, there's a lot of other kind of uh, I'd say nine is not the kind of thing that's going to have that big wow factor that eight had with lambdas, but it's got a lot of interesting things coming in. Yeah, it should be a good incremental improvement yeah. over Java 8. And I think probably one of the most amazing things about Java 8 was how low impact it was to upgrade to Java 8, given the, the size and scope of the changes they put inside of it. 
I think so. I mean, uh, Java's obviously got a very long history of maintaining that kind of backwards binary compatibility. Um, and also a lot of the way the changes worked in Java, especially with default methods, mm -hmm. were designed in a way that made it very easy to upgrade with minimal pain. I mean, I mean it's not to say that there's no pain, but um, it's... It's as long as you're using the latest version of most libraries, yeah. everything works. Yeah, no, I think that's, it's, that's it's the convenient big thing. when you have a big um, potential backwards incompatibility issue, and you can implement a new feature <laughs> that yeah. magically takes care of that, like default yeah. methods. Yeah. <laughs> most most um, libraries on the JVM couldn't do the same thing, <laughs> 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 but it worked out nicely. Yeah, it's it's good. So I mean, speaking I'm, of OpenJDK, what other sort of contributions or things are you working with on OpenJDK? Um, I mean, I help out to the London Java community who have a long-standing interest in OpenJDK and also I think, in the JCP. Actually, I attended one of the LJC OpenJDK hack sessions. Oh, really? Cool. That, that was a lot of fun. Fantastic. Yeah, we, um, we've we been holding them, not, not the entire year, but about once a month in 2014, which is something which I hope we carry on doing. Yep. Um, and there's a bunch of people working on BetterRev, which is a project for... And making it easier for people to contribute to a, to OpenJDK, kind of bridging the world between like the modern GitHub-like social coding and the OpenJDK realm, and saying just just overcoming some of the more practical issues. There's a couple of other patches which I hope we should go into Java 9 for just improving a few core library things here and there. Um, and there's a bunch of people, community-wise, working on that kind of stuff. So it's cool. it's good it's good to see more kind of outside of Oracle contribution. And it's also good to see whenever you submit a patch there that there are people in Oracle who, who take the time to, to go through and review things and give you feedback and yeah, that no, kind of thing. Yeah, I think they, they, like a lot of the engineers who I talk to really, and you know, the architects too, they really like getting feedback from the community. Um, some, some open source projects, some, I'm not going to name names, but some other open source projects at large companies I've heard, they've actually don't like contributions because they consider it gets in their way to get stuff done since it takes them quite a long time to integrate the changes. But for the most part, all the Oracle engineers who I work with love to, to get yeah, the feedback yeah. from the community. And I think it's, it's important when you're working on an open source project to be receptive to changes from the community. Otherwise, you can't improve. You're just getting your own group's input. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I, th I think the term is being, a, you know, a, a bazaar rather than a cathedral or something, which yeah. accepts a lot of a lot of a lot of contributions in that way. Which, which hopefully, hopefully, the, I think there's a bit of an uptake on OpenJDK on this kind of thing. Um, yeah, no, that's very good. Um, so, what else are you are you up to these days? Anything new and exciting? Um, I've been I started running a training course around Java 8, which is we're running. I think that we're running in Holland on Monday and Tuesday of next week, and then running in Sweden in February, and then also in London and Paris in May of next year wow. as well. So, so you're, you're getting around quite a bit now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> too much, too much. But, but, the, but the training course is fun, and, and I think so people seem to, to enjoy it. You're going to have to tag along on my next motorcycle tour, and you can... <laughs> 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 Increase your mileage I will, even more. I will, I will come and say hi, but I'm not sure, not sure either of us want me riding on the back of a bike. <laughs> sidecar? Side, uh, I, I can deal with a sidecar. I can deal with a sidecar. Side yeah. Yeah, maybe a trike. <laughs> I always wanted to get a trike. Those are cool. Definitely. Yeah, so hopefully, I, I'm, I'm looking at plans on doing something this spring, maybe, for a little motorcycle tour. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Cool. So, um, are you, you got your date and time talk coming up, and you got your book signing later today. Yep. Anything else exciting happening this week? Uh, I, I mean, I gave a talk yesterday on kind of Lambda expressions and the relationship between functional and object-oriented programming. Cool. Uh, which I think sounded like people enjoyed. Packed house. Nice, nice. Yeah, Lambda's always packs the house. It's a good yep. topic, and especially if you have a lot to say about it, or you've written a book on it. Yep. <laughs> Oh, and I know we were, we were we have a we have a secret which we can't talk about yet. Okay. So, um, I'm also doing interviews at the DevOx conference next week. So we're going to make a a plan for next week. We can announce the new open source library. Yeah. Which you've yeah. been working on, which will we we will we will, we will not describe in further detail. <laughs> no. Until but such we can time. talk about it next week. Yeah. I hope. So that should be <laughs> that should be exciting. Cool. Um, cool. So enjoy the rest of the Ordev conference, and you know we'll have fun at DevOps next week as well. Yeah, and, and same to you. I'm I'm sure I'm sure you're having fun as well. These these sofas are really comfy. 
Yeah, a little, <laughs> a little too comfy. But after lunch, I'm going to have to um, force myself awake with lots of caffeine. Okay. Well, the, the coffee here is very good as well. Yes. Mama has an awesome coffee culture here. Cool. Fantastic. All right. Well, thanks, Rich. Thank you.